This video will show the installation of one of our outdoor pool tables. The model that will be shown will be the 2008 installation 1000 and 3000 series are basically the same with the exception that the 2000 series table has stretcher panels. Upon receipt of the product before signing, please check the freight. Serious damage done to box may cause damage to the freight. Signing for damaged goods without noting on bill of lading allows no recourse for cost of repair or replacement. All tables are carefully inspected before they leave the factory, so they should arrive in good condition. Clean area where boxes will be opened. Open frame box from the designated side, removing the lid. Carefully cut bands. Watch out for bands springing back as they have been installed with tension. Remove boxed leg assembly, as shown. Carry or dolly upper assembly near where table is to be assembled. Sweep floor and place padded blankets on assembly area. Open leg box. Legs have been carefully wrapped. Notice screws for stretcher panels have been installed. Remove for the preparation of stretcher panels. Note, these stretcher panels are placed on our 2000 series model only. Next, remove the stainless steel 3 8 inch bolts that have a nut attached. First remove the nuts, then back out the bolts. Place legs into position, aligning flanges with threads. Insert all bolts hand tight to allow for necessary adjustment. If the table is a 1000 or 3000 series, tighten bolts and nuts. If the table is a 2000 series, place stretcher panels in position and install them as shown before tightening bolts on leg flanges. Before turning table frame over, back off one half turn on each leg leveler. Flip table over as shown into position. Align table relative to space. Since a full size queue is approximately 57 inches, 60 inches from a wall is ideal. Shorter queues are available for tight spaces. Next, check leveling with an accurate level. Check all four sides in order to locate the highest corner. Work from the next corner, raising the table by using the adjustments in the bottom of the leg assembly. You are now ready to place the slate into the table. Slates are fragile, so are your fingers and backs. Before opening slate crate, plan out the sequential procedure you will follow for putting the slate safely into the table. Place slate crate next to the table or be prepared to have an adequate dolly. We use a raised table dolly with pneumatic tires for rough terrain, as shown. Remove shrink wrap and make sure your hands are clean. We suggest cutting a 2x4, wrapping padding or carpeting around the ends so that the boards do not damage the rail caps. Place one on each end. This will enable you to safely place the slate into approximate position while protecting your fingers. Once slate is in position, raise one end of the slate, remove the 2x4, and gently lower slate into position. Move slate gently so that it has equal spacing on all sides. On top of the slate crate is attached a box that carries the cushions. Remove top. Carefully remove pre-covered cushions. Do not cut shrink wrap. Bolts have been placed in the T-nuts. This is done in the factory to ensure that the threads are not cross-threaded. These bolts must be removed. Place two ends and four side rails into position. Place bolts in threads. Hand tighten only. 
If any major resistance is experienced, remove rail and clear thread. After the four quarter 20 bolts have been hand tightened, adjust laterally to align with pocket openings. Tighten bolts securely. Remember you are not tightening an engine block. Snug will do just fine. Do not over tighten. Recheck level making necessary adjustments with the leg levelers. If head and foot spots are desired, measure midway between rails, 22 inches from the tip of the rubber cushion or 8 foot tables and 19 and a half inches for 7 foot tables. Use a permanent marker and place a fender washer where your cross measurements intersect. Hold firmly and color in center of washer. Congratulations, now let's play pool.